hello youtube welcome back to my channel so in today's tutorial we're going to go over how to build an instagram bot in order to increase your instagram followers especially during the this christmas period when most people are online and active on instagram so i have been wanting to grow my instagram for account for a while uh, and i've not been able to do that so i figured out i could do it using python so we're going to be building this in python 3.3.7 uh, and you're also going to be using a library known as uh, instapy okay so now uh, let's go ahead and i'll show you what uh, that uh, bot is it will be able to do for you so this is just the code right just few lines of code about nine lines of code so i'll just run it and then you can also see uh, i'll show you what it does so right now i'm, I'm actually not touching the keyboard uh, but uh, uh, this uh, is, going to, is going to start our, 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 our bot it's going to open up chrome and then you can see what it does so just in a few moments uh, this is going to load up so let's just give it a few uh, moments uh, i think yeah it has started the firefox browser now it has loaded uh, uh, it has begun its process so it's going to go into my instagram account and then it's going to be able to uh, follow users like comments um, li uh, follow certain tags and stuff like that so as you can see right now uh, uh, the bot is doing everything on its own let me just maximize this so i'm not touching anything as you can see my mouse uh, is over here right so it has logged in into my account and it is starting to follow the tags that i speak i told it to follow so it's going to follow like uh, like post comment post and stuff like that so this is what you're going to be doing in today's tutorial so you can see it has logged into my account and uh, it's going to go ahead and actually uh, start following tags as i said it's going to follow tags and like uh, pictures it drop comments and so on so it's what it's going to be able to do so uh if you uh, don't have python installed first of all you need to install python and then you need to go ahead and actually install uh, uh you need to install uh, 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 instapy okay so instapy is a library that uh, allows us to uh, scrap instagram okay so now uh, you can see everything has been done automatically without uh, me having to touch anything okay so now that you have done that i'll just minimize this so i'll go, uh, open up my browser and then i'll show you how, where you can download python from so you can just go to python.org on google and then you can download python according to the operating system that you are using okay so if you have downloaded python according to the operating system you're using uh, now we need to install Sci, uh, uh, instapy so you just go to um you just have to type in your, in your terminal pip install uh, pip install instapy if you're on linux you need to say pip3 if you're on windows you just have to say pip install instapy okay so if you don't know how to install python i will drop a link in the description below you can go and watch a video on how to install python so okay so we'll also be using a text editor called uh visual studio code so if you don't have visual studio code you can just google it and i'll leave the link in the description below where you can download uh, this text editor and also drop a link in the description on a video on how to set up a uh, visual studio code for um, python programming okay so now that you have done that i assume you have everything installed okay so you just have to create a file so you can call it uh, instabot.py i'll call mine instabot.py so now that you have done that we need to go ahead and actually import certain things okay so we need to import the library that you have just installed which is called instapy okay so you just have to type in your browser pip install instapy like this one over here you need to type this in your browser and then that to go ahead and actually install for your instapy okay so if you're now wind uh, on linux ubuntu uh, it gives you an error if you try to run the program so to solve that error first you need to also say sudo apt install fire uh, firefox uh, this drive over here okay so if you're on windows i don't think there's a, such a problem like that and I, I don't think there's also a problem on mac okay but if there's a problem you can just search it on google and you can find the answer so now that you have uh, said all of that let's go ahead and actually begin to code so we're going to say from instapy we're going to import uh the instapy uh, the instapy um class okay and then you're going to create an object you're going to call it bot you can call it anything you want this is going to be an object of instapy okay so this is a uh, insta uh, uh not the capitalization of pi right so now that you have created that so it it takes in a certain uh, things right it takes in your username your password and stuff like that so the main thing that you're providing is your username and your password okay so you just have to say user uh name and then you have to specify the username and then you also have to specify password and then you also have to specify the password okay so i don't want to show you my password and my credentials so i've i've kept them in a file called credentials and i'll simply import that so let's say from uh credentials i went to import uh, my username which is just a variable that i created username and my password okay because i don't want to show you guys my username i don't want you to have access to my instagram account 
so now that i have done that i also specify the password here so also specify password okay so now that you have done that uh, we have created the object so now we can just go ahead and tell our bot to log in to instagram since uh, it knows the credentials right so we tell it to log in into instagram that's all we need to tell it to do so now that you have logged in, in, in into instagram we need to tell our bot what kind of things to follow okay so like uh, there is this uh, method called like by, like by um, tags okay uh, like by tags right this one right here so you need to tell the, uh, the the bot on which tags to follow so okay for example i want to follow uh, tags that have in python uh maybe java and uh, uh machine learning no? let's just keep it to keep it simple just so we're going to be following python and java tags right so tags are posted having the tags of python and java so now that you have done that we need to also tell it one more thing which is the amount okay amount okay so this is say amount and then you can say i'll say amount to be two days for simplicity you can say any number that you want uh so this if you put in here two it will it will follow and like uh posts of um uh of py two posts of python and the two posts are having the tag of java okay that's what the amount does so now that you have done that uh let me go to actually explain something to you here by default uh the insta bot will like nine the top nine posts so if you specify like nine, you top like it will like the first nine posts plus the ones that you have specified. So if you like nine posts and the two additional ones that you have specified, specified that to be nine plus two, that is eleven. So it will like to like eleven uh, posts in total for Python. And the same thing for Java. Okay. So now that you have done that, let's go ahead and actually tell our uh, bot which tags not to follow. Okay. Because uh, on it, if you uh, you just let it follow each uh, tags, it might uh, run into some tags. Which might give you an issue right we don't want to follow like terrorist sites and stuff like stuff like that so we just want to tell you to uh stay away from from certain uh sites okay so don't add a score like so this will tell the board not to like a certain certain amount of posts so we're going to tell it uh it takes in tags okay so we have to specify the tags not to uh, uh not to like so we can say uh death anything involving death um this is just your normal instagram tags like uh terrorism terrorism stuff like that so you can specify any posts that uh, any tags that you don't want your bot to follow and then your bot will do that okay so now that you have done that you have told our, we have logged into instagram and you have told our bot what to follow and what not to follow you can go ahead and actually run our bot so we can just say uh, end so we can go ahead and actually run this uh, at this point this is perfectly going to work so we can just go ahead and actually uh, uh let me just um do it in my terminal so i just close the ones that you are previously running I'll clear the screen and then I'll go Python 3. Uh, we called it um, Instabot, right? Instabot by. I'll run that. Uh, okay. So this will go ahead and actually run that bot for us. So it will open up Firefox again and do its stuff. Okay. So that's uh, what we're going to do. That's what it's going to do. That's what this code does for you. So just about 11 lines of Python code, we are being we are uh, we are able to uh, log in into Instagram and our bot will be able to uh, follow our post and stuff like that. So I'll just bring back Firefox this way and i'll try to make this uh, bigger so it takes some time so let's just go back to our code okay so i hope uh, you, uh, you have everything understood so this part line just uh it takes our credentials logs in here tells it with tags to follow with tags to stay away from and then uh, at the end you're going to end the session right so this part you're going to uh, just simply end the session so uh, this is just end session okay just like that so that's what the end part does so now let's go back to see uh, where our bot has reached so far so i mean this huge you can see our bot is working on its own and is liking post right so that's all uh there there is to it so that's what we have done so far so i'll just uh, uh terminate that so now let's go and look at additional functions so at now this point we have a fully functioning and working uh working instagram bot but let's make this uh, even uh, much much more advanced okay so we can also tell our bot to to do to, to comment on people's posts right because to you for you to look real you have to be able to comment so uh we're just going to say set underscore do comment okay so do comment to just allow us to be able to comment so we need to specify enable this is just a boolean okay so we just say true and then we need to specify um um we need to specify the percentage of our our, our percentage of uh of uh, all tags is visited the percentage it needs to uh, uh, put a comment under for example if you visit 20 tags right uh, or 20 posts right so we want to tell it with percentage of that 20 posts to 
go to leave a comment under okay so we can just say 50 percent or we can just go 60 percent okay let's keep it uh, at 30 percent okay so we'll be commenting at 30 percent of the post that we visit so now we have tell it to comment on 30 percent of the post so we need to set uh comments right we need to tell it what to comment right so comments and then we need to specify uh we need to specify the comments that we want so we just say uh, comments this is a list so comments uh this will be a list of all the comments that we want our post to be. And here we need to provide all the posts uh, all the comments that we want our post to be able to use so we can say nice maybe nice or just like this we can say uh amazing this is amazing okay so amazing and stuff like that you can also use emojis if you want so for example to do an emoji you can just use unicode characters so for example i have really found this good site on uh on the github that has a lot of unicode for uh for emojis so you can just copy some of these common images and use them so for example we can use this emoji we just copy this uh, unicode and then we can paste it here so our, our, our bot will be able to use that uh, specific emoji uh, to leave a comment okay so for example a comment that you love you can just use the love emoji and stuff like that so uh now that you have done that our bot will still be able to work so if whenever you run it on uh, what you have just done uh, in these two lines of code is that we are giving the uh, our ability uh, to uh, for our bot to be able to leave comments and up 50 percent of 30 percent of the post that uh, it will visit okay so now that is that uh, let's also tell our bot if it be able to follow someone so bot dot uh, set um you need to say say do underscore do and then underscore follow okay so we need to enable that so we say enable enable equals to this is a boolean so this will be true we have enabled that mm, now that you have enabled that uh, we also need to um specify the percentage of uh, of people of the people to follow okay so percentage and we can specify the percentage to be maybe 60 percent so it will it will follow 60 percent of the of the of the post it will visit okay so that's what this line does so now that you have um Give the ability for our post uh, our post to be able to comment to follow people let's also now restrict how which kind of people our bot can follow because for example if you want to grow your account if you follow people like one having one thousand or a million followers they are probably not going to follow you back right so that's a bad strategy so the best thing to do is to tell our bot which kind of people to follow so you need to say set relationship so relationship bonds right the first one there so you just uh, uh, use that so we need to tell it uh, we need to first say enable okay enable we say this is a uh, true so true and then uh, we need to uh, specify some certain things for example we, we can also specify uh, the max that they are their, their, their max post that person has their max amounts of followers uh, how many people the person follows and stuff like that so what i'm mostly interested in uh, how many how many followers he has so if he has a person has under three a uh, maximum of 300 followers you want to follow that person you can also specify max following like how many people that person follows okay so you can also you can leave that to max of uh you can even say 1000 so it doesn't matter right but the only thing that matters is if they'll follow you back is that if they have a huge number of followers they're probably not going to notice you following them so they won't follow you back so you need to uh take care of this number if you follow guys like having 10 posts i mean 10 uh, followers they are probably 100 almost 99 percent they're going to follow you back right so that's it that's the logic that i'm trying to mention here so now our bot knows everything uh which uh how many how uh, which kind of people to follow it should follow a person depending on how many followers the person has or how many for the how many person uh, persons the person the the post owner follows uh uh the the tax not to follow and stuff like that so we can also go ahead and actually specify one more last thing which is called set court uh, quota uh, supervisor so set quota supervisor it just for example let's imagine that you you left your laptop on and you're running this bot right instagram can pick up these bots at times and you, you get logged out of your account like a few hours ago i was logged out of my account i had to log in again so be careful uh when doing this so one thing you can do to avoid detection is that you set uh set uh, this is quota quota supervisor so you need to say enable enable uh, equals to true right so just do that enable equals to true and then um i think all of these are enabled yeah enabled enabled yeah so enable equals to true and then i want to also tell it a uh, peak 
for example let me just go here and use this so we can save time so pick hourly so how many how many things to do and with it for post to fall within an hour so we can say 20 right and then we can say pick a uh, daily so daily there's also there pick daily how many people uh, how to how many times to pick daily so you can say maybe 200 times daily and you can specify other things like uh uh pick followers and stuff like that so that's we can specify this to control your bot so that it can behave like uh, a human or kind of so that you can avoid detection by instagram uh applications right and then save probably save your account so now that you have done that let's try to run this so i'll just go back to my terminal and then i'll run our instagram bot again so uh, i hope i type everything right and i didn't make any errors so if i didn't make any errors yeah firefox has just begun so yeah it has begun this way let me just uh close this and then now uh, yeah it has started so it will take some time it's going to log into instagram and then it's going to do everything on its own without our intervention it knows what tags to follow uh, like here you can see it's, it's logging into instagram with my credential that you have provided so it's going to log in with your instagram so let's just watch what it does yeah so it's going to like some few posts and then it's actually going to follow it start, it'll start following the tags that you have specified so you can see it has logged into my account and i've just run this for a few like five minutes and i got like uh, i was at 159 and i moved to 170 so that's actually really really uh powerful right especially during this christmas period uh there are a lot of people online so you can easily get a lot of people to watch uh, to subscribe to your channel i mean sorry uh to follow you on instagram right so yeah to subscribe also to your channel right so if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please kindly do hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can uh, stay updated every time i post new content like this if you're also interested in machine learning and data science please kindly consider subscribing to this channel okay thanks for that as you can see our instagram is really working and following people on its own okay so i'll just be uh close this for now just go to terminal and then terminate this so you can see uh, we have that right there so that's all i wanted us to discuss in this tutorial so thanks for watching you find this tutorial helpful uh, please kindly like to share like share and subscribe to my channel one more thing before we go we can, we can also do this without actually having the browser to be on like opening a, a firefox so you can just say headless browser and you can say true so this will run it without actually having to open firefox so for example if you want to run it in the background uh, or on a server that does not have a ui you can just run it in the background without uh, having this uh, the firefox actually open okay so this will, that's what this uh statement here does okay so i hope you find this tutorial helpful if you find it please helpful uh, please kindly consider liking this video hitting the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can stay updated with future videos so thanks for watching uh, have a great holiday see you in the next tutorial